you up over from one of the newer GTVs, you really go back into time in this car. Everything is different. The steering is without any help. When you're shifting, you really have to make such a big movement. You have to stretch it the whole length of your arm. This car is rear wheel drive, so normally a lot of people would say this is probably the better handling car, isn't it? Well, it's not. The concept of this car is from the 70s and um, you can really feel it's a lot older than the other cars. Their steering is a lot sharper. And, uh, but the engine... The engine doesn't feel old at all! <laughs> It makes the most beautiful noise in the world. <laughs> wow. The only thing that I don't know is because the car is so old, it's from 1982. Um, if things uh, used to be like this, or then it has to do with, well, like maintenance of this car or. Uh, parts needing to be replaced, but uh, you certainly feel that the car has a lot more body roll than the other cars. This certainly is a more comfortable car of the three. Ride quality of the other two are quite firm, and um, this handles the bumps really well. This generation of uh, GTV is an evolution of the Alfa Romeo Alfetta. The Alfetta only had four cylinder engines. Uh, and uh, the GTV was also introduced with the six cylinder engine, the Busso engine. The big six cylinder engine didn't fit in the regular engine compartment, so they had to put a power bulge on the hood so it would fit. So you can easily recognize uh, the six-cylinder version so because of the big hump <laughs> on the hood. You can easily recognize the Afetas by a couple of differences. One of them is uh, all the dials are in the center of the car where they are on the driver's side in the GDV. And uh, the bumpers as well. The Afetas were still uh, chrome bumpers and these are uh, made out of plastic. On this certain car, they're painted red, like the rest of the body is. But they came from the factory, and most of the time, just black. Only certain uh, special versions have them painted in the body color. But I think this one received it from uh, one of the later owners, which has uh, repainted it in the original Alfa Rosso, Alfa Red. Do you know where it stands for, GDV? GDV means Gran Turismo Veloce. That means um, Gran Turismo Fast. So it's a, a fast GT. Well, the thing all these GDVs have in common is that type of engine. It has a lot of grunt when you're uh, going slowly. And it always wants to go. Really willing engine. It doesn't matter if you're going like 1500 revs, just hit the pedal and off it goes. But it's not only on low revs, it's high revs as well. <laughs> yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> Or it's still a vintage feel to it with the wooden steering wheel. I wouldn't go using this car as a daily driver anymore, but uh, it's great fun for weekends and holidays. But the other GDPs, oh, they're pretty decent daily drivers. The air conditioning, the ABS, everything works as you would expect from a modern car. This car has none of those. But the other two GDPs are also perfectly suitable to go drive in the weekends and holidays. 